Day three, finally. It has been about a month. I totally did not mean for it to take this long, but what happened was, I don't remember where I left off in the video and I, I don't wanna go back and watch myself, but, ugh, oh boy. Basically the nut I put in, like it was a Les Paul replacement nut, but it didn't really fit. This, this nut slot is just gigantic. I didn't know what nut to put in there and uh, I couldn't really find anything online because this is such a specific weird guitar. I had to suck it up and bring it to a pro, so I brought it down to Sam Ash, my dude Sal. He had to get like a giant nut, <laughs> elephantitis. So he got this big old honkin' Martin Acoustic bone nut, and uh, that's what we put in there. So, now, woo, look at you, Greg. Now it's ready to go. I can finally do the final step to finish this guitar. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this 920D Les Paul wiring in there and replace the old shitty wiring that's in there. I hope to Guitar Jesus that this fits in there. I'm not sure the pots are the same size. I just, I hope they are. And once we get that wiring in there, we're gonna put in some Seymour Duncan pearly gates. I'm gonna sound like Doom ZZ Top. That's the goal with this guitar. So let's open the guitar up and get you close to the guts. I'm not sure this is the most exciting shot, but we won't be here t too long, hopefully. Oh, we will be, but the editing, hopefully not. All right, safety goggles, mask. Let's do this. We're soldering, baby. 920D uh, includes a very easy to read wiring diagram. Very handy for dummies like me. So I'll get the input jack off. <laughs> yeah, jack off. Uh-oh. Do we have a broken thingy? I think we do. Now let's see. If these guys fit, what do we think? Shit. Fuck. I need to fucking drill those out. Or dremel them out or whatever. Motherfucker. Is this the best way to do this? I don't fucking know. We need a little bigger. This is the biggest one I got. I don't even know what the fuck this thing is, but you know. I haven't known what I'm doing up to this point anyway, so let's see if this does anything. Oh, this is not, that's too fucking big. No way, no way. That's not smart. Let's be a little smarter. I have a reamer. I have a reamer that I've gotten for uh, making tuning pegs bigger. Let's try with that first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Let's do this first. Yeah, yeah, this is what I should be doing. Yeah, <laughs> okay. We almost did something really stupid, but uh, we avoided that. Uh, I was just gonna fucking go for it too. There was no joking at all there. $8 on Amazon, hell yeah. You can call me a dumbass in the comments if you want, but I was only almost a dumbass, okay? All right, well, let's aim for the bridge pickup first. Oh shit, this one's broken too. I do have another set that came off an old SG. You know what, fuck it, I gotta take the goddamn strings off. I can't work like this. One thing I've learned about working on guitars is every single part is a nightmare. As fun as it is, it also <laughs> sucks the whole time. There has to be an easier way to do this. Someone's watching and knows it too. Yeah, these aren't curved. Okay, these aren't gonna work. Motherfucker, that took so long. Well, that'll work. Whatever. Doot doot, we can make that work. Why are they in there crooked? Something's wrong. This might seem crazy, but because these new pickups are so much shorter than the old pickups, and the way this cavity is routed, this doesn't have enough room to go down because of this screw right here, so I'm gonna drill a hole where that hole goes so this will this can lay flush against the body, which sucks, but I think this is my only way around it, and wish me luck. Aha! Alright. We're gonna have to do that on both sides, I have a feeling. I'll tell you, I thought I was just gonna be buying 
hardware and electronics for this thing. Not drilling holes in the cavity and reaming holes for pots and holes for tuners, but you know, just solve each problem as they come. Now I'll flip this motherfucker over and we'll see where Seymour Duncan and 920D want me to solder this shit. Now on to the neck pickup, which we're probably going to have to drill again. And we're definitely going to have to use <laughs> this extremely uh, broken pickup ring mount. Good lord. This one completely fell apart. So I'm using this old one from an SG, which is a little bit bigger, so I had to take off the pit guard, and is not arched or curved like the like the top is on this guitar so i have to bend it a little i'm gonna have to drill some new holes it's getting more and more fun why is nothing easy on this guitar well maybe not ideal but it went in now more wiring Welcome back. I'm wearing different clothes. I was wiring up all the electronics and I realized I'm upgrading everything except for the switch. So why not upgrade to a Switchcraft toggle switch? The old one was working fine, but uh, it was kind of cheap and I figured if I'm gonna have all great electronics, why not just go all the way? So, uh, like everything else in this project, it was delayed. I ordered one to two day shipping. As you can see, took a real long time to get here. Funny thing is, regular shipping was free. One to two day shipping was an extra nine bucks. So I figured, yeah, nine bucks is worth it to get here tomorrow. Six days went by. So I emailed the dude and I was like, hey man, it's been like six days. I still want the part, but can you please just refund me for the nine bucks for the shipping upcharge? And so the dude refunded me the nine bucks, plus the entire cost of the switch, plus an extra nine bucks for my troubles. I actually got paid nine bucks for this switch. That's not what I asked for. This is like a small business, man. Like I just, I just wanted the nine bucks for the extra shipping because I didn't get it. I'm sorry uh, if this, I don't like, it was more than I asked for. I, uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate a free switch, but it is, we're not sponsored by the switch or anything. But um, now I'm just worried that to get the switch from here all the way through the cavity, I'm gonna have to take off the strings and the pickups. I hope I don't. The other thing, that is frustrating is the 920D diagram, the Seymour Duncan diagram, and the diagram for the Switchcraft switch are all completely different. The truth is there are just, there are multiple ways to wire up a Les Paul. So I don't wanna bore you with me trying to figure out how to solder this thing together. I'm just gonna time lapse through this because I don't want this video to be about soldering. I want it to be about the final look and sound of this modified guitar. Okay, so let's do that. We got the sleep shirt on, cause we're gonna make this thing a fucking doom machine. And uh, we will see you on the flip side. Okay? <laughs> It'd be a great time if I had a real fart, but that's what you get. Ooh, kitty cat. Gonna jump in there for just a second to say I didn't have to take everything off. Thank guitar Jewish Jesus. I don't have high hopes yet, but just for fun, let's see if any noise is coming out of this thing yet. Ooh, that's exciting. No way. Okay. Let's see what works though. That's neck, okay. Volume works. Tone works. Wow. That's buzzing because I still got the plastic on the pickups. Middle. Dude. Well, shit. Dude, 
Well, that took like 10 minutes, which was very not expected. I'm gonna clean up the wiring a little bit, uh, just move stuff around so it's not super tangled uh, under there. Put the back plates back on, put the input jack back on, take the plastic off the, the pickups, play with the height a little bit, and let's see how doomy we can sound. Oh, of course the new input jack is too fucking small. We might have to pull out the Dremel and uh, cut this shit. I'm just gonna try this little Dremel tool to uh, sand this open a little bit. Woo! Definitely would be smarter if I had something to hold it, but we'll keep doing this until it works. Oh, fuck, yes. Oh, and I didn't get hurt yet. My fingers are all tingling. My whole arm's tingling, but we did it. You're not chasing her. You're not chasing her. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're gonna nip this one in the bud today. This guy, I love him, but he is a dickhead. Back to putting on this input jack thingy. Incredible. I didn't think it would ever be closed again. So now, finishing touches. I have a bunch of tips, so we'll see if one fits. And I will say, I tried to put these knobs back on. They all like cracked, well that one didn't, but they all, uh, three out of four of them, no, uh, they don't fit on. They don't fit on these new uh, pots, great. So, I have some new knobs that should be here today. We have multiple, multiple, three black tips in there. So let's see if one of those fits on here. Oh yeah, dude, that one's made for it. Let's get these pickup heights straight, just, making sure the volumes are the same on both of them. All right. It's really hard to tell like what a guitar actually sounds like through the sand because it's just a tiny little speaker, dirty, dirty little devil. But um, I do feel like the volumes are about the same, so that's good for now. Let's get it tuned up. Gonna wait for these volume knobs to come in and I'll cut to that in a second. Okay. It's two days later, I'm covered in cat hair, uh, but I was very patient and uh, I waited for my knobs to come in. They all came in their own individually wrapped uh, meth bags. It's two days later though, because I made a last minute decision to get a new bridge. I was playing around with the guitar, all excited, and I was still getting some buzzing. Can you hear it? Barely. I'm being real picky at this point. When I first started, there was a ton of buzzing that uh, got taken care of when I put the new tuners on. The nut got rid of some, but I can still hear. It's totally not bad. There's just a tiny, tiny bit of buzzing still that's bugging me because it's one of these bridges with uh, the two pneumatics with the, the wire in there. So I can hear things rattling around a little bit. I'm not even 100% sure this is gonna fit, but I'm gonna try a new bridge. We're gonna stick the new knobs on there and then we're gonna finally get to play this fucking thing. Let's pop these knobs on first. Three out of four of them cracked when I put the old knobs back on the new pots. I just, I don't know if they're the right size. These are just some cheapo, you know, 10 bucks for the whole set on Amazon. The old ones looked like that. The new ones look like that. That's pretty cool, huh? And these ones look like they might actually be a little bit bigger, so maybe. Maybe this will be good. I squeezed them all shut as much as I could go before because of these old tiny ones. So now we gotta pry them open a little bit. Goo! Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? I fucking broke it. God damn it. I'm gonna keep these little drug bags, you know, just in case I wanna sell some drugs to children or something. Again, not doing that. Don't delete my channel. These are jokes. Do you think making jokes about selling drugs to children are funny? Yes, I think they're funny because I would never do it, okay? Unless the price was right. Let's try to stick this bridge on there. It's a roller bridge too, so that's uh, that's kind of fun. There's no Bigsby or anything, but still fun to have the little rollies. I do have that Les Paul trim though that's on the real Les Paul and uh, I don't know, maybe if I wanna take it off that, I can stick it on here. Having the roller bridge will be extra useful. What I'm hoping for is this just drops 
right over the old posts, but if they don't, I have new posts that I guess we'll see. Please don't make me change strings again. I've gone through like nine sets of strings. Oh shit! We got one side out. We got both sides out. Nice. Nice. These posts have thicker screws than the old ones, but the tops seem to be the same size. So I think I can put the new bridge over the old posts. Let's try that. Whoa! I'm gonna set these saddles to about where these were, just so, just as a starting point for the intonation. First of all, that looks great, okay? Happy about that. But, YouTube to the rescue. I just watched a YouTube video, I mean, I'm watching YouTube videos too, where uh, a dude basically uh, fixed it with a straw, so I'm gonna see if I can do that. This is a hack by YouTube user Herbert with 19 subscribers who has this short little video where he's fixing an Epiphone Les Paul split uh, shaft with a little piece of paper and a straw. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Let's see if it works. I just folded up a little bit of the straw wrapper. We're gonna stick that right there and hold it in place. And then we're gonna take a little broken piece of the shaft and we're gonna stick that right there. So that looks about right. And then we're gonna take just a straw that I had from a, you know, from a delivery order the other day. And stick that right over there. And he's not lying, that diameter is about exactly, or circumference or whatever. We'll take a little X-Acto knife. Even if this doesn't work, we're having fun, right? This is cool. Is this the weakest X-Acto knife of all fucking time? If we have to do multiple tries, we have like 10 tries in this one straw. It's not pretty, but it turns. We'll see if this goes over it. Dude. Come on. That is fucking awesome. I mean, that's on there just as good as any of the other ones are. <laughs> fucking fuck yeah, Herbert. Shout out to my man Herbert coming through on YouTube. Uh, so look at that. That's what everything looks like. We got a killer looking bridge there and we got uh, some sick looking knobs. I'm gonna spend a few minutes uh, intonating it with the new bridge and everything and um, yeah, we'll see if we can get rid of some rattle and stuff. So be back in a bit. Let's do it. Let's plug it in. We're intonated. We're tuned down, to, uh, step down. There's no more rattling in the bridge. Let's see how we can make a sound. This is just through the, this is just through the old Yamaha THX, I think. I don't remember the letters, but it's the, the little metal Yamaha thing. All right, moment of truth. Whoa. Oh my God. Dude, this is amazing. Fucking ZZ Top meets Doom. Exactly what I wanted. I fucking love this. All right, people have been giving me shit in the comments that my, my demos sound, you, they're so quiet, you can just hear the strings. So I'm gonna stick this through, I don't know, just garage band and easy drummer and do a quick little, quick little recorded uh, sound demo so you can hear it in a little, a little mix. And um, all right, we'll see you in a sec.
one take, baby. <laughs> uh, you can probably tell. Well, we fucking did it, dudes. Let me know in the comments. ZZ Top meets Doom, did we do it? Uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks cool as shit. Uh, I think it plays great, it feels great, and I think it sounds great. Give me, a, give me a few days, weeks to really play around, tweak, dial in some tone, and uh, I, I'm, I think this thing is a, a doom monster. This was not like a turn a cheap guitar into, uh, into a badass guitar on a budget or anything. This probably cost between... I'm going to say we're around the $700, $750 mark, all in, buying the guitar, all the upgrades, all everything. So still two and a half times what the the Harley Benton upgrades were that I that I put out a couple weeks ago. It's different than anything else I have. It's definitely not a guitar everybody has. I think it came out pretty badass. I'm happy. Uh, I learned a lot. We just changed everything from new tuners, new reamed holes, new nut, new switch. New electronics, new knobs, new pickups, new bridge, not new tailpiece. Tailpiece is the only thing we didn't change. I don't know, no reason to change that, I don't think. New strap buttons, new routing in there. This was a, this was a, this was a big project for me. For me, this was big. And uh, my first project, like it. So I think it went great. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, more comedy and guitar videos coming hopefully soon, and I love you. Mm.